All right. Welcome back to the Tomcat track. Sean Frederick Claire will be presenting HTTP 2 and 3 and the TLS SSL state of the art in our servers. Welcome, Jean Frederic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. So uh, basically, I'm going to speak about HTTP 2 uh, and HTTP 3, uh, about the, the TLS and uh, SSL. I won't spend much time. So uh, what I will cover, I will speak about uh, HTTP 2. I will basically uh, explain how we, suit, uh, we switch from uh, 1.1 to 2. And I will explain uh, uh, what is the new protocol, the HTTP 3, uh, as a state about well, at the server. And I have some space for demo and questions. I'm working for Red Hat, uh, and I've been uh, Tomcat committer for a long time. So uh, why are we uh, going for a new uh, protocol? Well, uh, the 1.1 1 .1, uh, was quite old. Uh, it was definitively made for uh, a, a small uh, page. Basically, it was one page, uh, and uh, now uh, when the HTTP 2 was uh, um, uh, introduced. Uh, the page was uh, several megabytes of HTML plus image plus a lot of things. So the whole protocol was uh, not adapted, inefficient, and so on. So a new protocol was introduced. Uh, it's a binary, it uses frame, it allows multiplexing, it's based on the ESPD protocol. It requires to use uh, TLS everywhere. Uh, basically, the browser uh, huge HTTPS and strong chalfer. Uh, it does not allow a forward proxy. Uh, you can use reverse proxy uh, with the clear text, but this is not something I would advise. Uh, it's based on two uh, specifications, uh, two RFCs, uh, one for the protocol, one for the compression. Uh, and uh, to switch from uh, one uh, protocol to the other, uh, I, we use the uh, application uh, layer protocol negotiation, which is something uh, belonging uh, to uh, um, um, open SSL and uh, TSL, TLS uh, uh, logic. So multiplex, which means basically uh, we can have uh, we, in one socket, this is the big blue uh, stuff. Uh, we will have, uh, we can exchange um, headers, we can exchange uh, headers data, uh, we can exchange data, we can also uh, push data uh, directly to the browser if needed. Um, so a little more, uh, the headers are compressed, uh, that allow to sp uh, save some uh, space uh, in that part. Uh, you can request priority on uh, different sites uh, if you have an urgent message. Basically, if you have used two different applications, you can decide one needs priorities, uh, one message needs priorities, so you can send it with priority. Uh, it allow uh, a server push, which uh, basically uh, can uh, allow you to push the, your server, you mean your Tomcat, to push some stuff. And uh, it has been made to allow a, a better rendering uh, on browser. Basically, the H, uh, the H2 is uh, for the browser. It was invented to improve the browser. So uh, in the server, we had to fight, uh, basically, to cope with it. Uh, with browser, so it has been there since a long time. Uh, Firefox 30, uh, uh, 34, this is a long, long time ago. Uh, um, it has. Some people making measurements on it, like uh, the people of the traffic server uh, were reporting a kind of like 80% uh, now of the traffic is over uh, HTTP2. Uh, so definitively, uh, if you want uh, to go uh, for HTTP2, you should go for it. So uh, HTTP2 is using the same uh, socket than the one we use for HTTP 1.1. Uh, so basically, we will have uh, when we receive uh, the first connection, 
from the client. We will have to, the client will have to tell us what is able to, to do. So this is an example of a client, Firefox, uh, quite, quite an old example, but it, it's still working the same way. Uh, uh, basically, the browser is going to tell uh, all the protocol is able to uh, uh, support. Like we, here you have a bunch of protocols. And uh, the server, which means the Tomcat in this case, is going to uh, reply which protocol is uh, supporting. Here in this case, it says that it's uh, going to support uh, the H2. Uh, so um, uh, the uh, browser is going to switch to H2 and the Tomcat is going to upgrade his uh, connection to H2 and then everything will work perfectly. Then the connection is of course uh, uh, encrypted uh, at the start uh, because as we were saying before, it's only working with uh, HTTPS. So what we need, uh, we will need uh, um, uh, um, OpenSSL, uh, uh, you can use OpenSSL for Tomcat, uh, you need OpenSSL uh, for HTTPD and traffic server. Uh, it has been uh, working since a long, long time, quite a long time uh, with OpenSSL. We are at OpenSSL uh, 3.0 uh, and it has been working since uh, 1.0 2.c. Uh, it's in Tomcat since uh, uh, some old version of Tomcat. Um, you, you need a kind of a, a recent Java version. At the time uh, it started to work on uh, Java 9, it has been backported to 8, and uh, we can uh, use some a lot uh, newer version now. So the status, this is an old page, so uh, basically we support it everywhere. Uh, you have not to worry about that. So uh, let's see a little how we configure it uh, in Tomcat. So basically, uh, uh, we're going to use the connector. It's the same. Uh, the socket is going to be uh, used uh, to receive uh, the uh, um, uh, the connection. So uh, here we defined one connector. Uh, we defined uh, the uh, certificate, uh, certificate and key. And we're going to tell uh, that we want to upgrade uh, to the uh, uh, to the new protocol. Uh, in case you want to use um, uh, OpenSSL as uh, the accelerator for TSL, uh, you will have to uh, configure uh, the LD library pass. Uh, it's uh, it's good, but it's not mandatory anymore. So uh, at some point, uh, it could be interesting to make some tests. Uh, basically, uh, the idea was to uh, to see uh, if it uh, would uh, uh, basically uh, work the same way when, when you are using uh, HTTP 1.1 and HTTP 2. When you use HTTP 2, uh, we can see at some point like the, basically the, those two curves goes together. But the most interesting part uh, is um, the uh, CPU usage. We can see that there's a small uh, overhead by using the H2 protocol. Uh, it's it's not too big, so uh, we can definitively uh, accept to use it. Um, I'm not going to make the demo right now. I will make the demo after if uh, I'm not running out of time. Um, I have one slide about the traffic server, or you configure traffic server uh, in order to use H2. Uh, it's uh, basically you just enable it. Uh, you need this command to enable the, oops, to enable the traffic server. And a uh, traffic server is uh, just a proxy. So basically, uh, we're going to tell it uh, to proxy a Tomcat here in this example. I will not do the demo. Um, for HTTPD, uh, it's the same. Uh, you, you need to uh, uh, conf you need to configure your HTTPD. You need to load the H2 module. Uh, you need to uh, uh, have a, a TSL uh, port. Uh, here, uh, I use an alternate port, but uh, uh, basically, this you can use the classical uh, 443 if you want. Uh, I tell it uh, that uh, you should try to use. Uh, 
H2 first and then HTTP 1.1. So basically, when you will receive the things, you will propose the browser to do H2. Uh, as usual, you define the SSL engine um, uh, and you de de define your uh, certificate file and your key file. Oh, this is an example where you, uh, this example is using um, uh, H2 in clear text. H2 in clear text is not something I would recommend because basically you should not uh, uh, transfer in even in the company some data which are not encrypted, but it could be interesting to make tests and to understand how the things are working. So basically, uh, in case you want to uh, use, uh, uh, to use uh, HTTPD uh, as a um, a proxy and uh, Tomcat uh, backend uh, with H2, uh, you can configure the um, HTTPD as here. Uh, so basically, we are going to load the uh, uh, H2 uh, proxy module. Uh, and uh, we're going uh, to, to give it a proxy pass uh, that is going to use H2C, which is a clear text H2, to the Tomcat, which here have running on an alternate port, which is uh, 8,003. So uh, I will do a demo later. Uh, basically, uh, if if you're not using H2, you should move for you should move to it. Uh, it's just one line more uh, in your uh, in your configuration. Uh, uh, basically, uh, you can go for it. I would strongly advise it. I'm going to stop a little just to see if there's some questions. So I'm going to go on. I want to go back to the slideshow. Yep. So as I was telling, like, uh, oh, nice, we have a, a, a we have a protocol that we can use, which is better. Why do we go for an, another one? Like, why we do f go for three? We have two, good, but uh, we should we go for three. Well, uh, one of the problem is like uh, basically uh, TCP/IP, uh, which we are using uh, uh, is using a, a Windows acknowledgement. Uh, like, basically, if you lose one packet, uh, your connection is going to be blocked. So all the channel that we have multiplexed in the socket are going to be blocked. So the idea has been come uh, to use something else, which is using UDP. Uh, UDP is the other uh, Ethernet protocol everyone uh, can be using. Uh, the thing is like that, the channel are going to be independent, which is a lot better. Uh, I, I, of course, uh, in UDP, uh, you don't have uh, acknowledgement. So basically, you can push stuff uh, forever. Uh, so you might not receive the packet in the right order because you might lose one. Uh, you might uh, have to decide to repeat it. So you have a protocol on top uh, of the UDP, uh, which will allow you uh, to make sure you have the things in the right order and you don't miss any packet. Uh, for the moment, uh, one of the, the one of the thing is like uh, uh, it's used uh, definitively uh, TLS uh, one point three, and uh, uh, it has one problem is like UDP in the cloud is actually uh, not something uh, that is uh, that is used that much. So yes, it could be worrying, but remember DNS is using UDP. Is you, the DNS is using uh, UDP, so uh, basically uh, you're going to have it at least supported in every OS. So uh, the um, the new specification start in, uh, in March uh, 2018. That's quite a long time, and it's kind of still in progress. It use uh, quick, uh, 
uh, which is the uh, protocol, uh, TLS and the UDP. Uh, it is used uh, to transport HTTP uh, like uh, a DH2 protocol. Uh, definitely, as we are going to, we need to, to, to establish a connection using the standard browser mechanism. Uh, we have a, a small issue because basically um, uh, uh, we're using connected socket uh, to get a connection and we are going to use uh, uh, UDP. So uh, there's something which have been existing for a long time, which is um, an alternate uh, port. This is the alt serve uh, that we have here. Uh, definitively. And uh, basically we're going to tell, we want to use uh, uh, H3 on uh, a port here yeah, we say we use h3 uh, on the two point mean that's on the same box uh, on the on the same host and uh, here we use a 55666 there could be some problems like uh, by default normally you close the udp port uh, udp has been told to be a slower uh, than tcp in the in the kernel but uh, that's not exactly true it need, it needs a little extra cpu because you will have to reorder the package and it's based on uh, several rfc's so if you compare the two feature uh basically the, the two the, the two protocol h2 and uh, h h3 uh you will uh, you, you see the so they uh one is using TCP, the user is using UDP and quick on top of it to put the things together. Uh, the streams, uh, the one are the HTTP2 stream, the other is quick uh, uh, streams. They're quite similar. Um, with H3, there's, for the moment, there's no, uh, there's no clear text. Uh, in case of H2, we have only the, it for river reverse crop C. The uh, streams are not completely independent in H2 because basically uh, they are on the same uh, uh, TCP uh, channel. In the case of H3, they are. The compressions are based on two different protocols, quite similar. One is HPAC, the other is QPAC. Uh, both are using, uh, allowing a server push. Uh, HTTP2 does not allow uh, early data. Uh, H3 does, and uh, uh, actually we have also the um, uh, zero run trip and check, which is a, uh, a TLS feature that allows us to uh, connect without uh, doing a complete uncheck. Uh, this uh, requires uh, a TLS uh, 1.3, uh, so this is uh, basically for H3. There's different uh, um, H3 uh, implementation. Uh, one is named is uh, Kish, uh, which uh, is used uh, in uh, several places. Curl uh, is also supporting uh, H3. It is using, uh, so you, you have the URL so that you can uh, compile it if you want to, uh, uh, to make a try. Uh, it used the uh, ng HTTP3 uh, and the ng, the ng, the NG TCP2 uh, uh, libraries. Um, it's in track, it's experimental, but it's working quite well. Uh, the browser, uh, Chrome and Firefox are supporting H2 uh, since April this year. Uh, so, so uh, if you if you browse to some uh, seat which are unable, uh, you're going to be able uh, to use it. So uh, if we start to look how to get it in O7, in Topcat, uh, we have a, a problem. The UDP socket uh, API is quite different. Uh, it had been uh, rearranged in uh, Java 15. Uh, and I think it requires some time uh, to implement it. In HTTPD, uh, we will probably implement it the same way uh, it is implemented uh, with the H2 protocol, uh, because there's the two libraries, uh, like with, with the two libraries curl is using, uh, which are quite uh, uh, easy to use, uh, but it requires some work, so it's not yet done. Um, 
graphic server, uh, they plan it for the next version. Uh, they have a prototype, uh, which is working uh, quite well. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use a traffic server to make a demo a bit later. So uh, we're going to look how we configure traffic server because it's the only one uh, we can demo for, for the moment. Uh, we tell it we're going to uh, use UDP. So you tell it that uh, you configure the, you create one UDP thread for this to receive uh, the UDP packet. Uh, you tell the port you're going using, you're going to use, and the protocol you're using, uh, which is uh, quick, which means that is good using to use one version of the uh, H2 protocol. Uh, I have enabled debug, uh, and I'm trying to debug this. You give it uh, in the multiset. Uh, you configure the um, your uh, your key, basically the certificate and the key, and uh, um, it's a traffic server is a proxy, so I'm going to remap it, uh, to map it to uh, my local Tomcat. So how, how is it going to work? Uh, I'm going to show the demo uh, just after making a small break, so if there's any question. Uh, so basically, uh, my backend is a Tomcat, as I was saying before. Uh, my Tomcat is using HTTP 1.1. Uh, and the NIO connector on the standard port. Uh, to get the connection, uh, I need uh, um, uh, HTTP 1.1 uh, to be able to send uh, the alt service uh, message. So I'm using, in fact, uh, in uh, my demo, I'm using uh, HTTPD with HTTPS and mode header, which, which is more easy. In case you want to um, uh, make it uh, localhost, you have to use the IP table. IP table is a nice thing where you can route the different port to different things. So, uh, uh, basically, uh, when I send a request to my server, uh, it's up, so if you click on the link, uh, you're going to, uh, don't crash it for the moment, I want to demo it, then after the presentation, you can play as much as we want. So basically, I, I'm, my first request I'm going to send is going to use uh, HTTP 1.1 or HTTP 2. Uh, I, I don't care, that's the same. It's going to reply uh, with alt service. The alt service is going to tell which, uh, what I'm going, I'm able to, to use. Uh, so it says H2 here in this example. And is, is, so he's using, uh, sorry, he's saying that he's using H3. Uh, on the same port that the one he has been using to get the connection. Uh, this is a timeout, so I mean, basically it's going to tell it to use it for one minute. Uh, and uh, I, I've, you can uh, you can separate different alternate service uh, with a semicolon, uh, with a column, sorry. Uh, so we are um, supporting the uh, H3 and I'm uh, supporting one of the draft version, uh, which is the draft 29. And 16 min, uh, one second. So you make the first request and the next request are going to use the HTTP2. So, uh, HTTP3. So um, I'm going to leave, uh, give some room for questions and then I run my demo. So um, I can't read, so if someone could tell me the questions. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Um, uh, David Pura asks, uh, what's the reason for the increased CPU usage for HTTP2? And it's, is that because of the server push feature or not? Uh, no, it's not because of the server push. It's just because basically you have you had a, uh, a layer of multiplexing and you need to demultiplex and multiplex. All right, that's the only question so far. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to make my demo. Uh, you know, demo uh, I'm, I made to break, so uh, I, I've already prepared. Uh, so um, I'm going to explain what you'd see on the screen. Uh, so, and, and I will make the demo after. <laughs> so uh, just before the, uh, just before starting, I was uh, preparing my demo and here you can see uh, it, it's a Tomcat page, as you can see. Uh, I'm, I'm running uh, Tomcat 10.1. Uh, and 
it's uh, uh, basically I've been using a traffic server uh, which I have running here on my server uh, yeah correct uh, and um, uh, the traffic server has been uh, basically uh, processing the UDP uh, H3 uh, uh, protocol and uh, convert the H3 to uh, HTTP 1.1 request, which have been sent to the Tomcat. That's why you see a Tomcat page. And if you look uh, to this screen, you can see uh, that basically I made the request to my server and the index page have been sent by using the protocol uh, uh, H3E with uh, exactly the variant uh, 29, uh, because that's uh, what uh, Chrome is supporting uh, for the moment. This is the Chrome browser. So if I, so uh, when I first get the connection, I'm going to refresh the page. And if I click at the right place, it will work. Uh, it doesn't. I have reloaded the page. Of course, I have another page in this case, because basically, uh, remember what I was saying before, I have a timeout uh, of uh, one minute. Uh, for one minute, basically, uh, the browser is going to redirect me uh, to the H3 uh, protocol. So of course, uh, during the, the presentation, there was more than one minute. So basically, the first request is going to be uh, done using uh, uh, HTTP uh, 1.1. And uh, if I look to the request, uh, if I don't screw it up, uh, no, that's the page I want to see the headers. And I hope you can see it clearly. Uh, you see, uh, so I have my request. It's a normal, it's a very basic uh, HTTP page. Uh, it's a very basic HTML page. Uh, it had received this uh, this piece. This piece tells him uh, to use uh, H3. So if I refresh the page, the page is going to be sent to the traffic server. And I probably need to refresh it twice. Uh, so if I refresh it twice, because one minute is kind of short, I'm speaking too much. Uh, the second uh, request uh, is going to use H3. H3 is going to go to the traffic server. Traffic server is going to go to the Tomcat, and then we have a Tomcat page. Uh, uh, any question for the demo? I assume I'm good. So I go back to the presentation. So uh, this is this was in case the demo would fail. So this is uh, you can see here the details. Um, so uh, if you look to the uh, H3, there's a big interrupt matrix. Uh, displaying uh, which browser uh, are supported. Uh, you can see there's tons of different implementations and uh, they are uh, telling which uh, you can find the, the cache here, you can uh, find the traffic server here. And that's it. Um, Um, it is activated by default uh, in Firefox and Chrome. Uh, I have had some problem to get it uh, uh, running with, uh, with Firefox uh, because Firefox, basically the browser is deciding uh, whether it should use H3 or not. So in some cases, Firefox is this deciding that uh, HTTP2 uh, is uh, better than uh, H3, so is uh, doing uh, uh, the uh, H2 instead H3. Uh, with Chrome, uh, uh, I, 
with Chrome, uh, you, it's, it is documented. You have to trick it a little to make sure that it is going to do it. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to show you made this maximize it and make it bigger so you can see it. So uh, you need to use a bunch of options. Uh, you have to enable quick uh, and you have to tell which version you want to use. Uh, otherwise it's uh, failed. And here, uh, well, this is to, the, to, uh, to open the tab. Uh, in some cases, you have to tell it uh, if if your connection is failing for some reason, uh, you have to remove. Uh, so, so Chrome is going to blacklist uh, H3 for this protocol. So you for this server, so you need to reopen it. There's a command uh, to do that. So basically, it's one of the multiple parameters. And uh, I think uh, one thing I want to mention: uh, there's a new version of Open SSL. Uh, the new version of Open SSL is supported by all O server. Uh, don't cut in case you want to use Open SSL. You're not obliged to. So, um, is H3 ready? Uh, well, it's not more draft. No, it's not. It's still a kind of a draft. Uh, but at least now it does not have a number, so I guess the specs are not going to change much. The last dra numbered draft was uh, number uh, uh, 34, so quite a lot of tries. For the moment, uh, you need to use uh, a forked version of OpenSL if you're using it uh, in a traffic server or in curl. Uh, one of the good thing is like uh, you will not need to rewrite your application because basically it's still making uh, HTTP 1.1 inside uh, the uh, the protocol. But I will strongly advise you to wait for the moment because uh, it does not look to be completely ready. Plus we have to implement uh, a bunch of things. Um, so I want to mention, like, I will uh, stop and I'll, I'll leave some space for question. Uh, if if you want to play with the stuff, uh, I have uh, put in my GitHub uh, tons of explanation. Uh, you, you have, uh, if you want to know more about H, uh, HTTP3, uh, there's a very good book uh, uh, write, uh, written by the uh, curl um, author. So you can find a lot of things, and uh, the the notes I have used to uh, write the H3 uh, presentation are on my GitHub. Uh, you can uh, have a look there if you want to do uh, the demo. And if you want to have fun, uh, I will leave my server on for a while so you can still play with it. And and. And where is the Firefox screen? Um, I'm still there, or is there any uh, is there any questions? Yeah, I've been uh, quite fast. Yeah, I don't see any additional questions. Um, there's plenty of time left in the session, so if anybody has any questions, please put them in the Q and A or in the chat. And otherwise, I can show some. Uh, HTTP uh, three stuff, which is quite easy. Sure, go right ahead. I'll jump in if anyone asks a question. Uh, yes. Uh, so um, I, I will close the presentation. Fully so so, um, so I will just show some stuff. Uh, so. Um, 
So basically, uh, so this is uh, the compiled version of curl uh, I've been using. Uh, curl can make uh, H3 directly, so basically you tell it to make H3. Uh, here we are going to do exactly what the browser is doing. Uh, it's basically, we tell it uh, that uh, we want an alternate cache. Uh, so this is a, a curl command. So uh, it's variables, you can see. Uh, it had been trying, it had been connected to my server. Uh, it had been uh, offering two protocols. Uh, it had you, the, my server ended to use HTTP uh, 1.1. This is my certificate uh, signed by Let's Encrypt. Uh, uh, it had sent uh, its uh, alt service uh, stuff. You can see it here. I uh, have some mouse problems. Here, I should so here. So uh, he noticed that he is able to support it. This is this is the try try trace telling that he is going to use this one. Uh, is using it. This is the page. And now, if I look uh, in the uh, in the file. Uh, Uh, which was the name of the file? Oh, alt cache, sorry. So, uh, uh, curl up generated alt cache uh, file, it had generated it uh, for my server. So, uh, if I do another connection, it's going to use uh, the cache and make H3. Uh, of course, it's one minute, so uh, I need to do it twice to make sure that it is the one minute. As you can see now, you have got the 10 Tomcat page, uh, which means that you have been using H3. Here, it's using H3. You can do... Uh, you can use uh, H3 directly with curl. And mm, that's so he, had, he has done H3 directly. You can see that it is doing H3 directly. This is connected on a socket or using the quick protocol on my server. My server is up, so you can have. Uh, you can do that uh, on your own uh, when you want. And I will leave it on for a while, so uh, there's no worry. Um, so uh, if I do some, I'm going to create. Uh, move the tab to the new window, and I'm going to show some. So if I'm connecting to my server, uh, you can see by default um, it is uh, using the H2. This is the um, H2 indicator. It does not want to display anything, but it's a, the small application. So for example, if I go to my uh, my own page, uh, like my webcam pages, which are available. Um, it, by default, the server is always using the edge two. So this, is, so my extension is a kind of. I can't see the data on on the browser, but if you go for the, um, the debugger, so this is how you go to the debugger uh, here. Um, more tool, and you have the web the tool, and then. You reload the page. You see, I'm using the H2, and just because my HTTP uh, server is configured to use H2, uh, which is just the line I have shown uh, in the presentation. Uh, what I like to mention: if you play with H3, you might have uh, uh, some difficulties. Uh, 
because basically uh, you must make sure that uh, the server is supporting the right version of the protocol. Uh, and um, I have had some difficulties there because the um, uh, it's not very well documented who supports what. So I had to make some tries. Or you make all service, you put all the service you are supporting and uh, you just hope the best that the browser will find one of them. Uh, so I can see the question from Felix. I can't really read it. Uh, if Chris, if you can read it for me, please. Sure. Can the port for H3 in the alt service header be different from the one in the original port request? Uh, actually, uh, yes, uh, it could be different. Uh, the thing is like, uh, some of the browser will not allow you to connect to another host. Well, definitely should not allow you to connect to another host because that would open a security gap. Uh, I had some problem uh, with uh, Firefox not willing to do that, uh, not allowing to use an, a different port. So I've used the same port, but in theory, you can use a different port if you want. But I think it's, um, I, I think it's, it's better to use the same port uh, because also that makes sense uh, at some security level. So basically, if you look to the alt service, you you could put uh, you can have a, another port here. Does that answer the question? Looks like yes. <laughs> cool, cool. Any other questions, suggestions? Still a few minutes, correct? Yeah. yeah. Our next session starts in seven minutes. So if you want to take a few more, do another demo or talk about, you know, cycling yeah. or something, go for it. I will not speak about cycling. I will just try to run another demo. I have prepared a bunch of them and uh, there's a lot of chance that they might go wrong. So I have HTTP2 demo. The idea is to compare. So it, here you see it's the, displaying the page. Uh, this page is quite huge. Uh, and you can see that uh, it is using uh, HTTP2. Uh, if you would display this page using uh, uh, H1, it would be a bit slower. And the, the way the page is displayed is a bit different also. Uh, here you've seen in when it has been displayed is the kind of like starting uh, in, a, uh, in a kind of a random order. I've tried to use uh, a push uh, uh, with uh, Chrome and uh, find out that they remove the, uh, uh, the server push uh, feature so basically the browser uh, you can push basically uh, you can use uh, this same page you could use uh, a server push on it uh, basically you will push all the small images and basically uh, have a button on it uh, like say uh, when you want to see the picture click here and the javascript then you can receive all the small image uh, in the background uh, while you are reading the message and when you click click, uh, the image will appear automatically. Unfortunately, this is not working anymore with Chrome because they removed the feature. Um, and well, that's, uh, I think their zoning is good because uh, not much people are using uh, the, uh, the uh, server push uh, and it's a bit tricky. Uh, yes, that's exactly this uh, information. <laughs> 